The Indian movie industry was an early adopter of colour film, even in the days when it was a very expensive process. And today's digital technology allows an amazing level of control over the tones that appear on screen. Colour is used to eye-catching effect in costumes and sets, and this translates very successfully to the stage, as Kriya experienced when she attended Mystic India. Mystic India is a cinema-inspired extravaganza that's been touring the world. When it arrived in South Africa, Kriya made sure not to miss it. Mystic India is an internationally acclaimed Bollywood dance spectacular. Today I'm out at the Teatro at Monte Cassino for a VIP glimpse of the production. The show features 22 musicians, acrobats, aerialists and dancers performing under the direction of Amit Shah. This acclaimed choreographer is also the founder and creative director of the US-based Atma Performing Arts Company, which produces Mystic India. Amit worked with some of India's most celebrated stars, including Priyanka Chopra. And while he demands the utmost from his performers, he's also an engaging personality. I mean, thank you so much for chatting to me today. Where did the concept of the show come from? Well, I really wanted to put together a show that represented India in the most authentic light. And that really meant showcasing the classical forms of dance, the folk dances of India, which are really celebrated, you know, in India. So the first half of the show is something that's very traditional. The second half of the show is <laughs> Bollywood, as people see it today around the world, and as people love it, watching it on screen. And we try to really bring that to the stage in the most spectacular way. Yeah. What elements do you really want to come out from the show? I think the first thing is diversity. India is very diverse itself. The entire show is about unity within Indians and then passing on that unity to the world itself. And when we travel the world, I really try to make it a point to tell my cast and to say, you know, we have to reach out to our audiences and we have to connect and find our similarities. This show features over 750 opulent costumes. How did you bring them all to South Africa? Because they must be so heavy. The thing is that when we first started the show, it was never meant to tour. So over the years, I had to find creative ways to <laughs> make things happen. Like for example, I mean, here's a little secret. We use these big dolls in one of our pieces. They're actually inflatable. First time we performed, we used to use actual barrels and the guys were like, we cannot be lifting this and performing for four minutes. So we found a way to kind of shrink them in our suitcases and expand them and there they are. And they, you can never, you'll never know. Kruti Shah is the female lead. A respected choreographer in her own right, she shot to fame as a finalist in the reality show Just Dance. While her original training was focused on contemporary Western dance, she has also mastered classical Indian dance styles. Kruthi, thank you so much for chatting to me today. Now that number you just did was super sexy and super sultry. What energy do you channel for that? You know, you just have to be able to play a character. When you're a dancer and when you're on stage, you want to be able to live every role to its fullest. This is just one of the numbers from the show and this one's more sultry. I think you definitely have to teach me some of those sultry moves. Indian dancing, Bollywood is all expressing through the eyes. Okay. You want to do a Ooh. little peek. So like a... You're natural. <laughs> Thanks. How did you prepare for a show like this? I'm able to do what I can do because of the dancers that we have. We work till the last minute and even when our shows are going, we're still working, we're still perfecting and you know, there's we'd never believe to settle and we're always just working, working, working. Besides dance rehearsals, members of the troupe must also be focused on their makeup and costumes. As dance and fire performer Shannon D'Souza explained. This costume opens the second half of the show. So basically I'm representing Deepika in uh, Lovely, the lovely video from Happy New Year, the film. Yes. As you can see, it's heavily beaded, um, a little bit um, more skin showing. Yeah, a little sexy. See. So there's there's a little bit of a belly dance influence. Please, you have to show it. me whilst, whilst you're busy there. There's a lot of hip movement. Happening. I'm not gonna get this right, but let's <laughs> here. But we can do this. Yeah. Pop your hip up. Pop my hip up. There you go. And then have have one hand on the head, one hand on the hip, and, and then pop, down. Pop, oh, popping, popping. Pop. There you go. You're ready. <laughs> you look much better doing this than I do. Well, thank you so much for showing me around your costume room and uh, break a leg for tonight's show. Oh, thank you so much. There was just enough time for Kriya's own costume change. After spending the day backstage and seeing the immense amount of work that went into creating this exquisite production, I'm very excited to see the end product and it looks like I'm not the only one. South African audiences have an appetite for Indian-themed dance extravaganzas. But the logistics involved in bringing this type of show to our country remain a challenge. 
Shaisa Osman, it's so great to be chatting to the two of you. Now, this is such an exquisite production. What is the process of bringing it to South Africa? Logistically, you're bringing down 30 people, there's 750 costume changes. Something of this magnitude um, hasn't been done in South Africa for a very long time. I think something that comes close to it was the, the Merchants Merchant. of Bollywood. Um, and we've been trying to source the product from that time watching Merchants of Bollywood. I remember coming out and seeing it that actually was on the same level. And Mystic India is just that. If not more. Over half a million seats have been sold during the course of the Mystic India World Tour. And now South Africa has swelled those numbers, showing Bollywood's growing global appeal.